Lights on the water is here again at Axton Landing. We're going to do a little bit of a different trip. Uh, last time we went up to uh, Lower Falls from Axton Landing. Uh, you can go back and check out one of my videos, one of my previous videos on that. This road is very bumpy. And uh, once I'm down to put in, we're going to be putting the boat in. We'll be paddling up upstream. Down at the Axton Landing parking area, there's a map. We're parked right here, the Axton Landing. Uh, today we're going to try to camp at Lean To Number 10. And then over the weekend, try to explore the Stony Creek Ponds area. Last time we were here, we camped at lean-to number eight, and then we stayed at lean-to number five, and we explored around Lower Falls. Got here about 20 minutes ago. Every parking spot was taken. Um, very busy. But I got my stuff taken out of the car. Canoe is put into the water. Very nice day. We're in the 70 degree temperatures. And tomorrow it's going to rain a little bit. Hopefully the, the rain stays away from us. So this is our put in. We're going to end up heading upstream again. We're going to be going that way. And... Uh, I'm going to go see if that lean-to is taken or not. I'm going to go find out. Paddled for about 10-15 minutes. I got my boat pulled up ashore. Got up to the uh, campsite. And doesn't seem like anybody's here. Which is nice. That's campsite nine. And we're going to go up this way to lean to campsite number 10. <clears throat> Pretty nice out right now. I think it's about 70 degrees out. I might have already said that. I don't know. I got here a little later than I had originally planned. That's okay. Uh, it's Labor Day weekend. So I figured every campsite in the Adirondacks would be taken by Saturday morning. I took uh, Friday off of work so I can come up here and try to catch a lean-to campsite before the weekend. Here's our lean to. It's a little messy right now. That's okay. I'll get this all cleaned up. Free firewood. Don't have to work for it. Here's my lean to for the weekend. Looks like we got a pot to boil water in. Here's our lean to back here not sure how good it's going to be oh look at that nice big pine that's going to make finding firewood a lot easier so i'll be cutting some of that up splitting it and burn it over for the next few days looks like we might have some more stuff down there very nice not very often you find firewood in the woods as easily as that. So I'm gonna go down, unpack my canoe, bring everything up to the campsite, get unpacked and have some lunch. I am hungry, time to eat. I'm gonna have to clean that out too. Got all my gear out of the canoe and brought up to the lean-to. 
I had some potato chips for a snack just to settle down my stomach. Took out some chicken and a Capri Sun to let them thaw out <clears throat> so that I can have something real to eat when I get everything all set up in here. Fire pit needs to be cleaned out. There's a little bit of wood here, but that's not enough to make dinner. So I will go out into the woods, grab that tree that's back by the privy, and get that all cut up. I'll use the broom there and sweep out the inside of the lean-to. And then I'll sit down and relax for a little while before making dinner. I'm going to go back and check out this privy. See how bad it is. Some of them are pretty good. And some of them are unusable. So I'm going to go check this out. Really not even sure if I put, should put this in the video because it is a bathroom in the woods. All right, let's see what we got. I guess that's not too bad. Got a bird's nest up there, but. I've definitely seen worse. So I bring newspaper to set down toilet paper and I use dude wipes to clean myself after I use these things. I also use them to wipe off the seat. <clears throat> it's a good tip using newspaper to cover everything so that you're not sitting directly on that nasty stuff. All right, I'm going to start cutting up that tree right there and make some firewood. Okay, fire's burned down enough. I got enough coal underneath there so I can cook some chicken. It's a lemon pepper chicken from Price Chopper. Got it on a telescopic fork held down by a rock. 7 p.m. at night. Just out here enjoying the weather. All right, chicken's cooked all the way through. Very nicely cooked. And now I've got to put it on my plate and I get to eat it. And I can throw some more firewood on. I'll just put on like one or two more pieces just to keep the fire going. now 7 40 in the morning it just got done raining a little bit it rained for about half an hour i'm gonna start making my coffee and make some bacon and eggs for breakfast hopefully the rain is done for the day that would be nice but I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to start raining again later on this afternoon. But we'll take it as we get it. I'm going to start making my coffee. And I have this Life Straw water filter here. And uh, I'm going to just fill this up and grab enough water to make my coffee and start boiling this water up. I just come down here and fill this up with some water and then go make some coffee. So I've got my bacon, my eggs, this is my jet boil to boil my water, and some coffee creamer I just put in, you know, a juice container. So I got my life straw full of water here and all I gotta do is open it up, squeeze all the water out, get the jet boil going, squeeze the water in. Once the water is boiled, 
I'll be making my coffee. And once I have my coffee going, I'll make my bacon and eggs. not easy to cook bacon on a pan this size when your burner's that big and the handle gets a little hot now that my bacon's done I'll take the grease and put it into the fire pit kind of help the fire grow a little bit and uh, Then I'll cook my scrambled eggs. Now, throw in my scrambled eggs. Yep. Glad I got that on film. The drawbacks of having a small burner. I don't want to grab onto the dirty handle of my clean cloth. I have another cloth that I use just for washing dishes. I have to use some water and wash off this uh, scrambled eggs mix. That I got all over the place. Well, that was fun. Believe it or not, that's the second time I've done that. I've done that in other camping trips with this exact same setup. This is how I take care of my dishes here. I just got some filtered water inside the pot and inside my plate and I have camp safe soap and a wash cloth so this is wilderness wash Multi-purpose outdoor wash, body wash, shampoo, dishwasher detergent, and clothes detergent. I only use it for like washing my hands and washing my dishes. I'm not out here long enough to have to do laundry and everything. So just take a little cap, squirt a little bit in there. Made by C2 Summit. And got a little scrubby brush. And once that's warm, I'll scrub everything. And then I'll use the washcloth that goes with the scrubby to get everything washed. And then I will use a clean washcloth to dry it and put it away. And I keep these separate. Yeah, you because know, this gets this can get kind of nasty, and this stays fairly clean even after four or five days out. <clears throat> That's all I do. It's pretty easy. Just sitting here in the lean-to, and uh, it's raining pretty hard right now. Put my fire out. <clears throat> 
Oh, chipmunk just ran across. Oh, there he goes up a tree. Oh, that was cool. Quick update. It's now five o'clock at night and uh, Chris and Kitima got here this afternoon. Right now we're just cooking dinner. We had two large chicken breasts and I'm making some cheddar broccoli pasta mix. Just add water and that's what we're gonna have for dinner. Now that that's up to a boil, I can turn that down and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Alright, now that the chicken is completely cooked and the noodles are completely cooked, we just throw it all together and stir it up, serve it on the plates and eat it. It's probably enough food for six people here and there's three of us so we'll be full it's Sunday morning last night after dinner we just sat back in the lean-to watched the fire burn in the rain and ended up watching a movie before going to sleep now we've had our coffee and our breakfast and we are going to go and explore Stony Creek. So we've got our boats down at the put-in, or down at the uh, launch site from our campsite. And uh, we're just going to go up Stony Creek and explore a little bit. Here we have the bridge going over Stony Creek. Some Adirondack mussels that uh, maybe a river robber or a beaver, a raccoon, something got pulled these out of the water and had a snack. Very cool looking. Just love all the colors of the trees. They go from green and then a huge patch of red and then back over to green. Right here we have a junction and we're going to go left to Stony Creek's pond. It said going straight on the map is blocked. So we're going to go left.
the colors on these trees are amazing orange reds purple pinks greens yeah buddy yeah he's gone just got back from Stony Creek. We are starting another fire so we can get dinner going. It was a nice little paddle. Time to get ready for dinner. Time for dinner, cooking some chicken. Got a nice grill grate that we can use or oven grate. We have some chicken, some steak. And we're gonna have some butter and herb mashed potatoes for a side. It's our last day here. We have broken down our campsite, packed everything up, uh, made some coffee this morning, and got, got our stuff down by the takeout. And I've got the majority of my stuff in my canoe already packed up. So we got a five minute paddle back to the cars, and then we'll be heading home. We got our campsite all cleaned up, lean twos all packed and clean. Uh, fire pit is completely out. And we're going to leave a bag of firewood here for the next campers that come. And we got a five minute paddle back to the car. This is Lights on the Water. Thanks for watching.